Hello there, I'm Scott Ewart, and in this PC Answer tutorial, I'm going to show you how to maximize the space on your hard drive by shrinking down without losing hardly any quality at all in your video files. So, say if you've got several video files, and I'm sure you probably do, um, you'll know that they're quite hefty in size. Now, using a format called the MKV format, uh, you can um, shrink down these files dramatically um, by a ridiculous percentage, and therefore you can fit more on your hard drive. Um, so, first of all, I have a um, file here, it's an MPEG, and I'm going to uh, play it with VLC player. So you can see what it looks like. I've I've turned the audio off, and, and uh, you can you can see it's just a MPEG file. Uh, the quality is not you know amazing in this, but uh, you'll see that it doesn't really go down in quality. It, it stays quite the same. So first of all, we need an application called uh, MediaCoder. This can be downloaded from MediaCoder.sourceforge.net. Um, and if you go there, just go to download section and select the version that you want. Now we're using version uh, 6.2 here. So first of all, let's double click it and launch up. It will also load up a, uh, a thanks page if it's the first time you're using it on your machine. And then it will appear to have disappeared, but it's actually down here in your taskbar. So if you just click once, it will appear. Uh, now, a way you can use that uh, media coder is you can... Uh, grab your file and drop it straight in or you can use the uh, add uh, feature here so you can go add file folder track URL um, and this is the input section here so this tells you um, the the size of the uh, of the file and uh, the bit rate and everything on top of that and the resolution as well and, and basically gives you all the information you need now what what you can then do is under these uh, tabs here you can you can alter the output which you're going to create so um, first of all let's go to video and what we want to do is we want to change the output type so first of all we're going to use the format the H264 um, format and then we're going to come down here to uh, Matroska which is a MKV format so if you click that it will then uh, it will then um, shrink down this file here from the MPEG format down to this uh, MKV format and it'll make it much leaner and uh, well much more sensible. You can uh, play around with the quality levels here um, normally it's quite high anyway uh, and you can also set the, uh, the, the bit rate as well on using this uh, slider here so you can increase it, decrease it etc. Um, same with audio, you can you can set the audio type. We're going to put it in uh, lame MP3. Um, you can come down here and you can select any type that you want. Um, there are other types which are, are um, neater um, audio formats than the others, and some of them are more compact. So, for example, uh, the Vorbis um, encoder is is quite good. Uh, there's a few others as well. And uh, I believe there's MP4 here, is there not? MP4 audio? There might not. Uh, anyway, um, something like Vorbis is very good, but we're just going to go with Lim MP3. So I want to show you um, basically um, just using some, some general settings how much of an improvement you can get. So um, we're going to export it out to the original folder and well, we're just going to set it going now. So to set it going, there are several um, ways you can do it. You can go to Actions and go and select Start Transcoding, or you can press F5. So let's uh, go to Actions and Start Transcoding. Now what it will do is it will uh, bring up this statistics window here, and then it will bring up a, a little preview box here. And you can minimize that because the um, information that you really need to know is the current task here and the total tasks. So if you say you're convert, you can convert, you can batch convert if you wish. So by, by going to the add menu, you can select a folder and it will then load up all those items in that folder. And then you can just set them all going at once. So if you know what settings you want, you can set them all going and then you'll have all your files in a unified format and, uh, and size structure really. Um, 
Now the size of this MPEG was 86 meg, so um, you're going to see how much of a, of a difference it can make by converting it just to an MKV format. So it won't be much longer now. I'm just going to skip ahead to near the end. And there we go, we've only got a few more percent. And as you can see, the estimated size is 14 meg. And uh, here we have a, uh, a message saying it's completed. And it says here that 86 meg has been transcoded into 13 and a half meg. And it took 80 seconds to do. So as you can see here, 86 meg down to 13 and a half. So if we go into the folder and we'll just uh, change the view to details. You can actually see the difference here, 13 meg instead of 88. Now, the uh, disadvantage of MKV format is um, you won't be able to burn this to, say, a DVD um, outright because uh, it's not as well supported in that sense um, for, you know, kind of automatically re-encoding as a DVD or things like that. Um, and also um, certain DivX players that you can purchase and, and media streamers may not support it. It's becoming more commonly supported now with the new range of, say, Blu-ray um, drive, Blu-ray players. They come with MKV support, which is very good um, because it makes sense when, when there's so many advantages to this format. So now just, just to show you once again, I'm going to open the file, and here you can see this is uh, the, the video that's been outputted. And as you can see, the quality is just as high as it was before, but the difference is it's only 13.5 meg. So then if I um, drag in the previous one, so for example this one, and then we go back to this bit again, you can see that it's it's made... It's made a, a fair distance to the file size, but in terms of the actual quality, uh, you'll find that there's hardly any uh, alteration, really. So that's how you can shrink down your video files using the MKV format so that you can free up more space for even more videos or for more important data that you may need.